Hello, 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 welcome back to the channel, or oh, welcome along if it's your first time here. Jay Wower here, and it's another Football Manager 2023 experiment. We've done it again. We're doing a deep dive. We're doing a test. It's not just an experiment. It's not silly. It might be a bit silly, but we're going down to the depths of hidden attributes. Yes, it's hidden attributes again, this time with the worst hidden attributes on the perfect player. We've done a hidden attributes test where we've done the best versus the worst hidden attributes on the channel. Go and check it out if you haven't already. And that was very informative. However, I am now wondering whether the perfect front facing attributes, and I mean 20 for everything, frozen for the entire career, but the worst hidden attributes, what will they do? I did a perfect player experiment on the channel as well. And of course, the perfect players do get Ballon d'Or after Ballon d'Or after Ballon d'Or, and they absolutely tear it up across Europe and win a hell of a lot of stuff. I'm curious. Will this player do as well? Should we find out? Here he is then, Johnny Perfect. And this is what I'm going to bring your attention to now, gang. Personality, temperamental. Media handling, outspoken, short-tempered, and confrontational. Yes, that's right. If you go to the hidden attributes, they've got ones for everything, except they've got 20 for controversy and 20 for dirtiness. I've, I have left him at one with injury proneness because I don't want him to just be injured for the majority of the experiment because that would just be, well, it would be a waste of my time and yours, to be honest. And I've got things to do, so I'm sure you have as well. So let's get on with it. One year into the future, we're going to go. But before we do, that time again, gang, where I beg humbly on my hands and knees for the subscription free, just clicking a quick button. Please do it. Helps the channel out greatly. Thank you. And I will not beg for likes. But if you want to like it as well, be appreciated. What we'll say, though, is if you do have any ideas for experiments or any tweaks to experiments that I've got already on the channel, please do leave them in the comments below. I do read all the comments. I do reply to as many of them as I can. And I've even started making some of the experiments that have been suggested. Some of them are already on the channel now. So there you go. Anyway, one year in the future coming up. Right. We're one year in the future. He's gone to Bournemouth. He's on £22,500 a week. He's wanted by Liverpool. He scored 19 and 35. 14 and 31 in the league, getting a 6.87. Now, in the Premier League, that's not the worst return at his age. But you think with attributes like this, you'd expect a little bit more. He is only 16 still, to be fair. He's about to turn 17 in four days' time. Did he keep him up? Of course he did. Liverpool won the league. Let's have a quick look at the league then. Bournemouth. 10th. 10th for Bournemouth. That's not bad. I don't know. I'm managing lower leagues at the minute. I mean, I don't know how Bournemouth are doing in your save games in the first season, but I think 10th's quite good. So he's obviously helped them in some capacity. They've got finished with a positive goal difference. Johnny Perfect is their key player and top prospect. Unfortunately, I can't see the amount of goals that some that they all scored last season. Who else plays up front? Dominic Solanke. He's the only person who can really rival. Right. Okay, so when you look at 14 and 31, you go, mm, not too good. 6 in 37 for Dominic Solanke. Kiefer Moore's listed. He got 8 in 35. He got 8, and only 6 starts. 29 off the bench. Dominic Solanke, 6 goals in 37 games. It's not even like you go, oh, he's probably playing number 10 role. He only got 1 assist. 6.8. Hmm. That's making Johnny Perfect's season look a lot better. 14 in 31, four assists, two player of the matches. He has been capped by England under 21s, two goals in three appearances for the under 21 national team. Without rushing through this too fast, there's not a lot more we can really look at at this moment in time. I'm going to jump through three more years, see how he's getting on in 2026. Has he moved for big money from Bournemouth? Because his contract does expire in 2026. So if he hasn't moved, he could be leaving on a free. question is, has he seen his contract? Has he signed a new contract? Or has he already gone? He is still at Bournemouth. He is in, he's on international duty. He's wanted by Chelsea and Liverpool. His contract expires next season now. So he is still at Bournemouth. He's signed an extension to his deal. He scored one more under-21 goal in three appearances so six under 21 caps three under 21 goals in total and now he's got 12 in 21 for the senior team and oh his best season was his first 11 goals in 35 in the second season 
6 in 27, that's not very good, is it? That's really bad. 6.59. And then 12 in 36. Not great. Not great. He has had a pay rise. He's on £35,000 a week. He's, he's described as a wonder kid. He's still outspoken. He's still short-tempered. And he's still confrontational. Basically, he's a bell end. Temperamental personality have... His hidden attributes changed? Of course they haven't because I've got his attributes frozen. I'm going to leave that in. It. Right, the Premier League then. So Liverpool obviously won it in the first season with Bournemouth finishing 10th. And in the second season, Bournemouth 11th. Still there or thereabouts. Liverpool again with another win. Again, back to back for Liverpool at the start of this. Man City then took it and Arsenal finishing second. Liverpool down in third. And Bournemouth, oh, the worst finish with uh, Johnny Perfect in the team. 14th. But then they've had the highest finish of ninth in the most recent season, with Liverpool winning the league again. Johnny Perfect and Erling Haaland are the two in the Media Dream 11. Bournemouth are predicted to finish 15th, so they are doing quite well. We are four years into the experiment. As you've seen, Johnny Perfect is... I, I think he's underperforming. I think he should be carrying Bournemouth to higher... He should be elevating Bournemouth up the leagues a little bit more, but... Is he still doing better than their other strikers? We saw, I wasn't impressed with the 14 league goals in this first season. And then Dominic Solanke was there sitting with six. Sat with his feet up. So maybe Bournemouth are just a bit bad. And, you know, Johnny Perfect is actually grabbing them by the scruff of the necks and taking them on the leagues. I mean, 6.93 is not too bad for a lower, uh, like a mid-table slash lower off of the league side. You know, I've been promoted with players getting 6.93s in some lower league saves, so... Maybe we won't be so harsh on him. W will he get a big money move? Liverpool and Chelsea are interested in him. Let's have a look at internationals. I'm all over the place. Antonio Conte's in charge. Has Ralph Halston Hootel had a go? Not yet. Not yet. Where's Ralph? Ralph Halston Hootel is the manager of Denmark. If you don't know why I'm wondering about Ralph Halston Hootel, you must be new on the channel because every bloody experiment he seems to get the England job. And it's become a little thing now. Two World Cups. 2022 they won it and they've won the euros in 2024 the question is top players he's not there johnny perfect when did he make his debut first international cap in 2023 age 17 so he's won the euros oh he's the 2023 2024 nxgn winner despite the awful hidden attributes he is the winner of the nxgn award go on johnny and then he came runner up in 25 26 didn't even make the top three that season. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to jump through forward five more years to 2031. I'll see you in a minute, gang. Oh, he's had that big money move. Unhappy about failing to challenge for the Premier Division. I'm going to put it on you, Johnny. You were probably a part of the reason why that failed. Let's have a look. So, hold the phone. He was wanted by Liverpool after season one. When we come back after four years, Liverpool and Chelsea both wanted him. We've then come back five years later and he's at Liverpool. He's had a three-year spell in Madrid. Who saw that one coming? He went, he left Bournemouth for free, went to Real Madrid. 15 goals in 32 in the league. Not the best return. Then 13 in 30 and 13 in 31. Disappointing, honestly. He's getting just over sevens for his average rating. But for a forward for Real Madrid, you expect more. You demand more. He was involved in 20 gold contributions in the league in this season, but still, 20 goals in 30 games for Real Madrid. And they've won the league every year. I've got the league loaded. Look, they're absolutely winning it by a canter. So, do you know what? Scoring 15 and 32 is not terrible, but for a perfect player, you expect a hell of a lot more. Then Liverpool have signed him for 168 million. And in the first season, he's scored nine goals in 29 games. And got 6.8. That's really bad, isn't it? That's really bad. And now he's unhappy that Liverpool haven't challenged for the league. But I'm sorry, when you're 168 million pound striker, Scores nine goals in 28 games. They were 13 points away. 
Uh, so nine goals in 28 games. They, you'd, you'd, you'd want them to score at least another 15, so maybe 23, 24 in 29, 30 games. Another 15 goals would probably have turned a few of those defeats round. Lost to Everton 2 1, 2 1, 2 0, 2 1, 2 1, 1 0, 3 2, 2 0. In the, against some of the bigger teams, United, City, Arsenal, Newcastle, who are up there in this save game, Liverpool, uh, Everton, the Derby, you know what I mean? He's gone missing in the big games. He's gone missing in the big games. And then they've drawn seven against teams, really, that if you're going to win the league, you should be winning against. I mean, they've drawn against Everton, so they've lost and drawn to Everton. You'd be disappointed as a Liverpool fan. Southampton and Bournemouth, all due respect, have no business pulling out those kind of results. Tottenham, decent side. Finished second as well, Tottenham did. So not too bad that, but you would expect more. You would expect more from Liverpool. And it's, it's understandable why they should be unhappy with him, to be honest. They should be unhappy with him because they've, brought, they've obviously brought him in because Dan City had won the last two league, leagues and they were like, right, we need a new star striker. Let's go and get Johnny Perfect, the long-time target Johnny Perfect. He's been terrible. He's been all right for England, though. 58 goals in 74 caps. That's the kind of return you'd expect. Why is he so good internationally, but awful domestically? I mean, it's, it's who's he scoring these goals against, to be honest. He could be scoring a lot of these goals against far inferior opposition. There you go. Kazakhstan. A hat-trick against Kav Kazakhstan. They lost in the semi-finals to France 4-1. Mali. Johnny Perfect hat trick, Japan. Johnny Perfect got four. Johnny Perfect again, third one. He scored four against Brazil. I'll give him that. Has he got? Did he get the golden boot? Best player, Johnny Perfect. Fourteen goals, eight point eight two. Wow. In six games, he scored fourteen goals and got one assist. You were Liverpool. When was this? Twenty thirty four. What? Oh, sorry. This was in twenty thirty. Was it? When was this World Cup? Right, we're all over the place. We're going back. England won it in 2026, so it looks like he's a World Cup winner as well. This was in 2030. Johnny Perfect. Let's have a quick look. When did he move? Bought by Liverpool for 168 million on the 20th of June. So he's won La Liga twice. Right, he's, he's left Bournemouth. He's won the World Cup in 2026. He's pissed off from Bournemouth. He's won the La Liga twice. He's gone to Liverpool. He's won the FA Cup, but he won the World Cup. Liverpool signed him before he went to the World Cup. 20th of the 6th. I'm just trying to get a timeline down, gang. 20th of the 6th. So Liverpool signed him after he'd scored four against Japan. So he's, he's got five in two at the start of the World Cup. Bagged against Argentina. And then to celebrate... He went and got another hat trick against Marley and then scored four against Brazil. I bet Liverpool were like, hoo, 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 168 million pound well spent. I bet they were salivating at the prospect of him coming. Nine goals. Nine goals in 29 games. He scored more in the World Cup. He scored 50% more in the World Cup. 14. I can't believe it. I'm fuming. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm angry. I don't even like Liverpool. I'm a United fan. It's almost funny. So he's, he's got 104 goals in 296 appearances. Like I say, he's not happy. He's on £300,000 a week. His contract, come on, his contract expires in 2035. So four more years. I think that's a natural point, right? Should we come back in four years? I don't know why I'm asking. No one's going to reply. I'm just going to come back in four years. So, yeah. That's to make you feel included, gang. He's still at Liverpool. He's on £350,000 a week. He is... His contract expires now in 2037. He has got 98 goals in 118 caps for England. So we'll have a quick look at internationally. And there he is, gang. There he is. Ralph Hasenhutl is the manager of England. You can stamp your bingo cards. Ralph Hasenhutl has got the England job. Congratulations. World Cups. England have won the World Cup in 2022, 2026 and 2034 and the Euros in 2024 and 2028. The Golden Boot was won by Delphi Montes, Romelu Lukaku and then Erling Haaland during the save game. Johnny Perfect getting second place there with six. 
Johnny Perfect with four here in 2032. Didn't blow them away though, did he? So England have won three of the four World Cups in this save game. Looking at the award winners. Again, Golden Boot, 16 in six. Look at this for a tournament. 2034. Look at these guys getting eight goals and finishing second and third respectively. 14 and then 16. I've got to look at this. So Johnny Perfect, he started the tournament off with five goals against Zambia. Then he scored two against Chile. Just the six against Poland. Open the scoring against Denmark. Oh, Bukaya. Injury time and extra time. Battered Germany. Johnny Perfect didn't even play. And he, and he popped up with a, a brace in the final when he beat Italy 4 0. So for internationally, he is doing the business. He is absolutely doing the business. Domestically, though, he is not. He is not, is he? He's finally got an average rating of 7 in the most recent season for Liverpool. 12 goals in 37 games. Look at this one. 7 in 34. He did get 9 assists, but still, that's bad, isn't it? In total, I'm not in the way, am I? No. 144 goals in 415 games. So since 2030-31, he's been at Liverpool. And he's won the Premier League four times. Look at this. Hendrik, top goal scorer for Newcastle. Newcastle coming second. Man City finishing third. Although the average rating, they've got the top three players, Foden, Holland, and Juande. But this this is this is really confusing me because Liverpool, they've got a forward who is I'll be honest with you, look, key player Pedro Ribeiro. Oh well that's why. They've got a winger. They've got a winger who's popping up with 18 goals in 38. 40 million from Benfica. Bargain. Timothy Pieri. He looks pretty good, doesn't he? 91 million from Nice. 1 in 11, 8 in 24. They're not having much luck with these big money transfers, are they? At least he's getting in the sevens. Um, Tom Scrivener is listed for 71 million. Thomas Schmid. He's pretty good. Ansu Fati. He got 16. So Johnny Perfect. He's a legendary striker, apparently. I mean... 19 goal comment a goal contribution every two games i spoke about then they're winning the league i don't get how they're winning the league with someone who's that oh, i'm going to say it incompetent up front 82 goals scored as well the most in the league by 11 so has he won it all he's won the world cup multiple times and been amazing he's won the euros have they won the champions league right liverpool in 27 20 and 28 29 they won the champions league back to back Tottenham Newcastle final here. Then it's Milan PSG, Milan PSG, Milan. 28 29. When did they sign him? 2030. So he has not won the Champions League. He has come runner up. He came runner up in 2033 34. That's the only thing he hasn't won. Of course, Ballon d'Ors and all that jazz. We will do that at the end, um, which is where we're going now. We're going to go to the end of his career. There's no point checking in again. I don't think he's going to leave Liverpool, to be honest. He's gone. Johnny Perfect is gone in 2046. So I'm going to go back to 2045. However, Johnny Perfect. Oh, he's a free agent. He's retired. Oh, well, we're going to still see his stats. So let's have a quick look. So he stayed at Liverpool for his entire career. And look at this. He actually finally got 15 goals in the season. Most recently, 25 goal contributions in 35 games. He really settled into the fact that he was just a knobhead and started doing all right. Liverpool then. The Premier Division, when did he move to Liverpool? 30-31. So they won the Liverpool, Liverpool in the league, one, two, three, four, five times in a row. Then they won it again three more times. Tottenham have won a few. Liverpool can run up a few times. Champions Leagues, oh, they've done it. They have won some Champions Leagues, 20-37-38, 41-42 and 42-43. Back-to-back Champions Leagues as well, followed by back-to-back -back Champions League for Tottenham. And then Newcastle are the current holders. And Tottenham are the current holders of the Premier League. Winning it by a canter as well. Only losing one game all season to Arsenal. That would be satisfying, wouldn't it, if you're an Arsenal fan? Even though Tottenham have won the league, you were the team that stopped them doing the invincible season. So, you know what? Fair play. Has anyone done an invincible season? No, they have not. 
So here we are then. Here's... Oh, I'm in the way. Go to the left. There we go. At 270 goals, 148 assists, and 24 player of the matches in a 769 league game career. 6.92 overall. For a perfect player, that's poor, isn't it? It's really bad. Look at Ballon d'Ors. Sadri Roschenschlocker has won it a few times in a row and is amazing. Current ability, 184. So we've got, he's won it the last few times. Nesta Stre, uh, again, a couple of uh, regens. Matis Tell has won quite a few. Um, Kylian Mbappe, Erling Haaland, Chiumeni, Vinicius Jr. So nothing for matey boy Johnny Perfect. In terms of England caps, 145 goals in 174 appearances, which is kind of goal scoring record you'd expect from a perfect player. It's like internationally, his rubbish hidden attributes did not matter. He got 270 goals in the league, he got 145 internationally. Michael Carrick is in charge of England. Who's been in charge of England then throughout the, the time? Uh, so Conte and then. Marcelino, Espirito Santo, Abelardo, then Ralph Hasenhutl, of course. He retired from management after nearly just over seven years in charge. Pep came in for a cup of coffee, 357 days. Sven comes and goes, eh? He resigned. And then Michael Carrick, being there just shy of a year. Two cup wins for Sven. The current World Cup's going on. But I tell you what, we're going to look at England, how England have got on in a moment because I want to see if Johnny Perfect becomes a staff member. So we're going to go forward a year to 2047. Very perfect. He just retired. He's not become a staff member. And probably for the best, because he was a knobhead. Steven Gerrard is now manager of England. They're ranked first um, in terms of schedule then. So when were we last here? We saw them losing the semi-final here against France. They lost in the quarters of the Euros against Austria. 2034, they won the World Cup against Italy. We saw this, yes, we did see this. They, beat, they, won, they won against Wales in the final of the Euros here. Johnny Perfect with two goals in that final. 2038, they won the World Cup. It's conceding just the once on the way to winning it. Absolute scenes for England there. 2040, again, retained the Euros. 42, they lost in the third round on penalties to France in the World Cup. 2044, they won the Euros again. 2046, out in the World Cup quarterfinal. So... In the World Cups, in this experiment, we have seen four World Cups for England and five Euros. I'll be honest with you, this might be the most successful I've seen the English national team out of any experiment I've done. And that's including putting perfect players with perfect stats and perfect um, potential players in there. So I don't know what to make of it. There we go. Anyway, there's the end of the experiment. Johnny Perfect had... We say... A mixed bag of a career. He won everything. He literally won everything. Champions Leagues, league titles, World Cups, European Championships. He had an unbelievable record, goal-scoring record, that is, for England. 150, you know, like 170 odd caps. His goal-scoring record domestically was not fantastic at all, was it? Didn't manage to eclipse a 7 point something rating overall for his career. 6.92, was it? you got to say you're underwhelmed. The hidden attributes mean a hell of a lot in Football Manager. Thanks for watching, guys. Please do drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you got this far, check out some of the other experiments on the channel as well. There's lots there. Some fun, some silly, some informative. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you again soon.